So doing some research here on Evelyn Carnarvon, who um, is a very important person in um, archaeology, a very important woman. She entered the tomb of King Tut with uh, archaeologist Howard Carter and her father, Lord Carnarvon, who financed um, the dig. The dig apparently took much longer than you would think, something like 15 years. Um, sort of as a kid, I imagined it taking like several months or something. Um, I also found this very interesting book, The Complete King, The, Com the Complete Tutankhamun by Nicholas Reeves. This is, of course, the Wikipedia page. Um, so, I believe that this was, and, and others have said this, that she's probably the inspiration for the character Evie and The Mummy, and it sounds like the movie The Mummy is based on the curse of Tutankhamun, which is um, in reference to the fact that several people died of strange illnesses, including Lord Carnarvon himself, who uh, got blood poisoning and died um, even before really uh, all of the excavating was done or uh, cataloging of the items inside. Interesting how the cataloging of these items kind of became um, you know, more of the work than digging once they found it. This is a really great uh, stock site, imagoimages.com. Um, they have an amazing picture of Lord Carnarvon and Evelyn at the horse races, which is really interesting. Apparently, Lord Carnarvon, who lived in Highclere Castle, which is where Downton Abbey is filmed, uh, and there's a little similarity in that he married into his wealth, apparently, um, he had lost a lot of it, had gambled it on horse racing and fast cars or something like that. Anyway, here she is looking very demure, um, and this is Howard Carter, and this is her father. And um, in the TV series um, with Sam Neill, which just came out, which inspired me to do this topic, she's depicted as having a relationship with Howard Carter, but in reality, Howard Carter is much older than, uh, than her, even though she's portrayed as being younger. And this, she's, he's much older, he's 27 years older, being born in 1874 and her in 1901. But, um, so again, this is all just sort of high level research. I dug into it and I figure I, I might as well, um, if I'm digging into all this, I, I might as well um, uh, publish it. So uh, in, in some effect. So interestingly enough, again, as far as the reality of the excavation, the tomb was really not as big as I thought. I was imagining like some underground palace the way they talk about it. And I'm sure the riches are interesting. I'm just going to show it uh, uh, sort of um, a passage here, if you will. Um, so this is apparently the entire tomb. We're looking at a five meter uh, scale here. So roughly five meters, um, all of these dimensions. And this is a uh, Evelyn is rumored to have been the first person into this chamber, I believe, um, because she was small and could fit through the opening. This would be the one, I assume, especially from the TV series where uh, they famously made a sort of uh, peephole and looked in, and that's when Carter uh, said famously, when Carnarvon asked him, oh, what can you see? Can you see anything? And he said, um, famously said, yes, wonderful things. And um, it's really interesting that uh, afterwards, Evelyn doesn't seem to have kept up the archaeology uh, theme. It seems like she just kind of began to live the high life um, with her uh, husband, who was a, a captain um, in the armed forces of Britain. And uh, it, even though history remembers her as being, you know, the woman who did this with these uh, people, um, you know, it's it's interesting that she doesn't seem to have, you know, gone further into archaeology, and uh, hopefully that's something we can uh, remedy in the future. So this is a really interesting blog post, evelynherbert.blogspot.com, interesting article. Really tears into Howard Carter, calling him, a, uh, him and Lord Carnarvon a uh, tomb robbers, and that, um, and sort of uh, uses the word skullduggery, which is a great number, and very interesting. Oh, sorry. Um, so, uh, it's, uh, time for something else, but, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, um, just wanted to kind of show, uh, this research that I did, and, and these, uh, ideas that I had of, of, well, the, uh, last thing, the newspaper, uh, very famously covered, many newspapers covered this excavation, and, and really, apparently, uh, according to the 
TV series really blew it out of um, it sort of out of proportion and you know were in, in the TV series they're like accusing them of stealing things and flying them back to England by night and whatnot but um, I, I found this really great 1923 article about uh, how is like a romance that a mummy's curse couldn't stop or something from the Philadelphia Inquirer which is really cool and it's um, a saying that even though she you know Carnarvon succumbed to this illness and apparently the curse of King Tut that uh, Evelyn was still able to get married around that time and um, th this may be a picture of that um, I'm, I'm actually at believe so anyway um but um yeah so it's interesting that um that the newspaper kind of blew this up in sort of social representation of uh the way it, you know sort of how our, our minds and a, a social reputation kind of blow things out of the water and uh sort of make you kind of change your spatial awareness and make you imagine that King Tut's tomb was like way bigger than it was or something like that but no doubt the things found there were uh, amazing and it was an important historical find but um, you know uh, I just can't believe that she didn't continue archaeology and maybe she did in secret or something but um, I wish she had and uh, yeah so that and then um just the fact that it sounds like their relationship between her and Howard Carter was simply platonic and she just looked up to him and admired what he did, which um, I also find very interesting. So yeah, thanks for watching. Again, this is just sort of a very top level video, just kind of a way to catalog what I found and um, you know what I mean. Uh, if nothing else, just keep it archived for uh, building upon these ideas. All right. And stop. Stop.